Word is born, yo. Uh, on that note, man, I'd like to say peace to the leaders, achievers, hip-hop believers, and future seers. Welcome to another edition of State of the Game, uh, where we're basically tackling all things, either from the inter- um, you know, entertainment, political, everything, so to speak, man. Welcome to the interview segment. Um, yeah, my name is The Overwrite, the man who controls the hype, and I do have a special guest with me here, now. So he goes by the name of B.U., in most cases, most interviews, man, bios and whatnot will be read and all that stuff. But then I thought, nah, man, it's actually much better to um, let it come from the horse's mouth, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, in studio, he is here, man. I know we've got a few people in the studio, man. Can you make some noise for B.U.? <laughs> shout out, shout out. <laughs> Word up. What's up, my boy? Ah, bless you, Thank bless you for such a warm walk. Ah, now nah, we're just born, bro. How are you, dog? You nice? I'm well, dog. Yeah, yeah I'm man. very sensitive right now. Chill for days. Shout out to CBD. Uh, that's a, the thing. Like that. I think I might have told you about it. CBD. It's like a and then oh, also meditation. Yeah. 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 Oh snap! So wait, see, so CBD is a herb that like yeah. it's basically Kush. Yeah. But without without the THC, <laughs> so you don't get high off it. You just chill. Is that like medicinal, medicinal blunt? You, yeah. you got some stuff on you, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, Check bro. It's some smoke, dope. bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's in a vape for me. Oh, snap. Yeah. Oh, so it comes in a vape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, bro. Ah, bro, I, I need that for the office, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, these people that are on that, like, low vibration, man. Also, really, bro. Yeah, dude, actually, bro. And it's, a, it's okay, so, 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 you, you just go. Just pull it. Don't. Yeah, you get it. Damn, bro. That's it, bro. Damn, bro. This is dope. This is dope, man. This is dope, man. No pun intended, bro. Hey, 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 hey bro. There you go. So, 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 yeah, man. Let's start at the beginning, bro. Like, who? Because now your claim to fame is um, that whole um, Big Brother situation, man. The first I said time... before that. Oh, word. Okay, well, can we start at the beginning, bro? Like, um, who is BU, bro? Um, where do you yeah. come from? Yeah, man. How did it all begin for you, bro? I cool. So, BU is a derivative of my surname. My surname is Mtembo. Oh, yeah. So the boo part was yeah. what resonated the most with me. You know, like, be you, be yourself, find yourself, know yourself. But it came from my surname. Mtembo. So everything I do is legacy. Yeah. You know, my full name is Lutanda Mtembo, which is love. Yeah. And Mtembo is from his temple. You know, yeah. you know that story. But, you know, we don't subscribe to, to the norm. Um, Big Zulu talking to you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, so uh, KZM boy, uh, rapper through and through, bro. There's nothing about hip hop you can tell me, bro. Freestyling, you already saw yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, beatboxing, break dancing, the whole culture, beatbox. Yo, um, man, beatbox, yeah, hit, hit me with the beat, bro. Like, it's been a while since we've heard, like, I, I know beatboxes now, like, and, and there's very few of them, you yeah. know. That means give me something, give me something, bro. It's the young, a young son. Even See, if it's the like, thing is, I would, I would, but technically you didn't have to pay me for that. Oh, like, snap. Okay. Okay, <laughs> I'm messing, I'm messing yeah, with you. No, 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 no. no, 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 no I'm, like, I'm fucking with you. What no, I'm saying like, is, that you I used to, I used to um, beatbox. Yeah. So now I can still beatbox, but it's more remnants of what I used to yeah. do. I don't, I don't do that anymore. I used to crump. I used to uh, break dance and play basketball, you know. But if you ask me to do those things now, it's a different ball game altogether. Yeah. Right now, I'm at a different chapter in my life, but those things are like the shadows of who I was, you know. But that's my come up. And my claim to fame would be adverts. Yeah. And I've done a lot of adverts, bro. Like crazy adverts. So if you watch, let's say, oh, four or five adverts during that time, I'm the guy in the back for most of those ads. So I was eating Damn, off that bro. Room. Yeah. And people who knew me were like, dude, I saw you on this ad. And the most prominent one was Suzuki. Yes, you're right, Suzuki. But before then, there was a Castle Light. That one was powerful, bro. Uh, Damn, was this bro. Frank, Frank, um, is it Ocean or Casino? Well, Ocean is in the States, so it has to be Casino, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's casino, yeah. yeah. He was also in it. Nadia was also in it. Shout out to them. Uh, showing up to that brand. Yeah, and that's all it is. We've got to rub the shoulders with the right people. And I believe there's this very powerful saying that I got from Denzel Washington. Mm. If you stay in the barber for long enough, you're bound to get a haircut at some point. So if you rub in shoulders with the right ones, even if they're giving you cold shoulders, they'll be warm someday. You just got to mm. keep rubbing those shoulders, you know? Mm. So meeting up with people who are doing what you want to do, talking to those people. Look, the people that you see the most and hang out with the most and believe that you can achieve that level you surely at some point be like that, you know? 
So right now I'm sitting from that end. But before then it was like, damn, I just gotta be good with these people, yeah, you know. And yeah. it comes across as you, you, you're faking it. Yeah. It comes so my the reminder of who I am, be you, came from that. Yeah. So 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 when did the be you actually come to? Because now because now yeah you do tandem Tim you know, yeah. like I feel like you've been like you've been that person for like a very long time. Yeah. Right. So now when did be you come to life? Crazy story about that is it didn't start off as Lieutenant Tembu straight to be me. It was Lieutenant Tembu at home, right? Yeah. Actually, no one calls me Lieutenant. Like, nobody. Literally, nobody. Not even at home. Everyone at home calls me TJ. TJ? Yeah. Okay. That was the first branding I ever did as a child. And I didn't even know what I was doing. I was just like, yo, I'm going to be this cool guy. And I literally was uh, super popular in KZN. Yeah. Uh, the crumple guy. No, TJ. TJ. Yeah. TJ, yeah. man. No. <laughs> I, had a tattoo, I had a tattoo at the age of 13 on my yeah. chest. The word TJ on Damn, it. Bro. I was about it. I was about that. I was like, yo, I'm going to be this guy. I mean, but then again, you are, like I said, you are those people you hang around with. Mm. I didn't have access to to the things or the people that I wanted. So I, mm. I, I envisioned it. I'd have a whole room posters of Eminem, 50 Cent, Tupac, all these guys. And I, and I talk to them, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. so like full conversation, sometimes freestyle, sometimes listen to their interviews. I yeah. lived in that world. I was like, these are my friends, these are my mentors, you know? So now moving at that level, this is why I know that this is not the pinnacle for me. This is not, yeah. this is not me at the biggest level that I'm going to be at. You know, I know I'm going somewhere. And yeah. if I look at my history, the steps and how I move, it's like everything is leading towards one thing that I've already been living in for so long yeah so big brother yeah. was just like yeah, it yeah. was like whether i win the cash or not win the cash i know where i'm going yeah it's just a part of the journey damn bro it's yeah. actually very interesting so now you talk about like creating the world before living in it yeah i know that man like how important it, or, or before we talk about how important it is, is it is it bro like what is manifestation to you bro like um and um and within the black uh, community and all yeah. that, bro, like, um, how is it looked upon according to BU? Okay, cool. So we live in the information era right now. Yeah. So all of the stuff that you're seeing on your YouTubes, easy, accessible, they just package it differently. Remember, yeah. everything comes from Africa. Yeah. Everything comes from there. So they might call it something else when they bring it back to us. They might take the, the gold and whatever, go do whatever they're doing to it and give us, but... Truthfully speaking, it all comes from you. Meditation, yeah. uh, eating well, eating a specific diet, calling upon your your your, your highest form, which is a sense of God. It is yeah. a sense of God. So when people like Yeezy say, I am God, it's okay because your toe is still a part of you. You, mm. you are your toe. You, you know, so if you bump your toe on the corner of whatever, your whole body feels yeah. it. It's not just your yeah. toe. So definitely there's everything comes from here. When it comes to manifestation, I believe, the first time I encountered it was my fa- my pops. So I grew up in a, a an okay family in terms of our standings. Um, my pops used to always take us to the beach mm. every weekend, right? So on a Friday, we'd sit at the beach and he'd just sit there and look at the waves. And we're kids, so we acted, you know, we'd yeah. take like skateboards and stuff, but he would just sit there for like hours. He didn't tell me what that was, but as I grew up, I learned that it was meditation. He wasn't mm. meditating. He was just looking at the waves. But you know, technically, yeah, he was then, yeah, meditating. Yeah, you know what and, I mean? and, and, and as an African, you're naturally drawn yeah. to doing such things. You see, yeah, and you yeah. don't even know why you're doing it. Just sitting in quiet sometimes, or whatever you're doing at that time. So he was meditating. Straight after that, he would we would walk down to um, Merck Mercedes. Yeah. There's a store with like cars, and he'd be like, he'd pick me up, and we'd see our reflection on the cars, and he'd be like, see that car. I'm going to have that car. Yeah. And you're going to be sitting next to me and all that, you know? Yeah. So those were pop. That was the first time I saw someone actually visualize and see and call something into it. But the difference with manifestation is you don't say I'm going to have, you say I have. have it. Yeah. You live in it. You know, it is a part of your reality. There's no difference. And that's why people will see you and say it's crazy. But the first time I actually practiced it was a while back. I think I just gotten married and um, I was, I just signed a gym contract. Yeah. I'm not currently married. Just Yeah, just, like like, like no, we, 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 we're we gonna talk okay. about that. We're gonna we're gonna talk about <laughs> well, I was just like, okay, like that. <laughs> so yeah. um so uh, we used to um I used to literally go instead of walking down my apartment and walking out the gate and walking to gym. I used to walk down my apartment, go to the parking lot, call my wife, and like, yo, this is gonna be crazy, but if you're right or die, you're right or die. Come come yeah. here. And we literally pretend we're in a car and walk out where the cars come out 
but it would be so early in the morning we would jog down the street like we're in a car and we stop at the traffic light you know what i mean and she's like i can't believe you're doing this i'm like no trust me three months we have forgotten we did that in three months we had a car Mm. and we're doing just that we've just forgotten about it we literally moved from that place we stayed at and things happened so rapidly we were driving down the same street and i had forgotten about it because to me it was always reality she's like do you realize we just stopped at the same traffic light we should stop at where we're jogging i'm like who would have thought three months that's a very quick manifestation yeah you know so i believe once you see it once you feel it you know what it feels like what it tastes like you live in it someone can come to you and say you're lying yeah. And you're like, you think I'm lying. I'm in that moment. And I believe that it is. You know what I mean? So that's what manifestation is for me. And how people see it, it's different strokes with different folks. But yeah. People can have opinions until you have experienced it. Yeah. Then you can truly have your own take. Because you can't talk about the party while you're still outside. Bro. You're hey. sitting outside. You know, your, your, your mm. opinions are yours. But when you get inside and you can tell us facts, this mm. is what I felt, this is what I saw. Mm. So yeah, definitely... Um, encourage people to research it because we are in an information era find what it makes sense if it makes sense to you make it make sense to you and if it does use it it's a tool it's just a tool you yeah. know everything around us is voodoo man and and like when did you have your awakening bro because now um i like how you just kind of didn't even acknowledge the fact that i said that everything is voodoo you say like, okay and then when <laughs> no, 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 no 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 but everything is voodoo yeah everything and I, I i love that you would get that bro. yeah shout out to like, you like, Come on, bro. yeah. Come on. <laughs> like, like even earlier, man. Um, you, you're you're like, hey, man. Does does, 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 does everyone know this side of you? Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. bro. Not really, bro. People so, just know me as like a rapper dude that just talks about hip hop. You see, blah, blah, blah. exactly. And yeah. So now, when did you have like your awakening and like, how did it feel like? Um, I I remember when I was, cause now there's like steps to this whole thing, man. So you know, you first get exposed to like a little bit of information here and there, through raps or whatever, right? Yeah. And then. I don't know, a David Icke uh, comes and comes along, yeah, yeah, yeah. tells you about like aliens and <laughs> reptilians and all that shit. Yeah. And this is me, right? And then you and then you basically like you re- begin to realize that everything that you've been taught, like your whole life is cap and I'm either cap yeah, yeah. or like a misrepresentation of what it truly is. True, so like true. when did you have your awakening? Um, what was going on in your life and like how did you feel at the time? So when I, I guess when you say awakening, you're talking about when did the truth yeah, become the truth? Yeah, for me? when did it come to my yeah, reality? When did the veil get Yeah, lifted? okay, okay, I'm yeah. cloaked type of thing. Um, Christianity did that for me. Mm. That's a crazy part, right? The one thing that I <laughs> come with your eyes <laughs> tells you not to think because yeah. Christianity is about faith and faith is about manifestation. Yeah. Seeing something before it is. You yeah. believe you're going to be in heaven, therefore you see Jesus, you see this figure, this yeah. white man the one that we've been given. And then we'll get into that later or whatever, yeah. but you believe it, you see it. Yeah. Even if everyone is like, no, no. And that's faith. Yeah. That's Christianity. Yeah. Um, I studied to be a pastor. So, so you did theology and all yeah. that. How old are you, bro? <laughs> I've been 20 lives, man. I've been 20 lives, dog. Yo, so this is a fact, no you, cap. You're 29? No, no, no. Oh. That's, that's a secret. Oh, 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 I'm okay. joking. I'm joking, though. I'm 32. 32. Damn, 32. bro. You've you actually you've done a lot, bro. Yeah, damn. damn bro. Okay, yeah. I've lived, yeah, bro. Yeah. I've lived. And I, I could have just followed the norms of what people tell you to do and say and be. Mm. But I was like, nah, I'm going to be myself. Whatever makes sense to me, I'm going to do. You know, like, mm. even when I talk about that marriage thing, mm. it wasn't because I was a kid or nothing. It was because I felt like I'm in love. Yeah. And for me, as a person who's a Christian, I was like, I'm going to marry you. Yeah. You know, so yeah. I did that. So same way when it comes to when you asked me about um, uh, what was the last yeah, question yeah, you asked um, me about uh, uh, awakening and it led to Christianity and you studied yeah. theology. Yeah, so so Christianity cool. is the thing that kind of led me because I went deep into the Bible mm. and I saw that Jesus was badass. Yeah, yo, yeah. don't don't let them yeah. cap you, bro. Yeah. Jesus was an outlaw. Jesus was like the old school Tupac. He was out there spitting on people's faces. Kicking him out of the church, chilling with hookers and strippers. Yeah. You ain't Christian unless you're doing it. Hey, hey, For me, hey, I was like, when he said be hey, like me, hey. you can't tell me you're Christian because you're going to church every day. You're just being a sheep. You know, he, he was a rebel, bro. He wasn't doing nothing. He was literally the weirdo. You'd go out to the desert for 40 days and come back and be like, I'm, you know, this is me. You know, so just f- find you and then be that. 
but it's a journey. It's not easy to be you. Bro. Damn, and that's bro. my message to the world. Just be you. But remember, it's not easy because we get fed from a young age. This is what you need to dress like, how you need to speak. Um, this is the body language you meant to have. Some money you need. This is the car you need. And once all of that has been in you, like you said earlier, you, do, you weren't raised a specific way. Mm. Now you're challenging your own system. And the only person that can win that fight is you. Because mm. if I come to you and be like, yo, bro, eating meat is bad. You got to yeah, be vegan. Yeah, and you're going yeah. to be like, nah, I love the taste of meat. What are you talking about? But if, I show, if you decide, okay, let me watch a documentary. Yeah. Does this make sense to me? Does it resonate with my soul? Why would I do that? That's stupid. I mean, but then, then you learn and then you decide because we are a collection of our decisions. Yeah. Everything right now from being on this podcast, dressing up the way I am to the person uh, subscribing. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. Yo, yeah. Subscribe, guys. <laughs> and, Notification uh, bells, hey, all that stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For that person doing that, sitting at home and watching that, we are a collection of our decisions. Mm. And our decisions lead us to intertwine and cross paths. And we can only gain and receive from each other. I don't know it all, bro. But yeah. I'm going to tell you everything I do know because I've done a lot of crazy things. Yeah, I've lived, I believe I lead, the, uh, uh, I lead and have lived the Jesus lifestyle. Like, I believe that. You know, nobody can tell me I'm lying or because I know what I've been through. You know, from 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 heights of going to Paris and Paris and seeing and doing things and living before 20 mm. and then coming back and being super depressed and being suicidal. That's my journey. Like, you know, no one can 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 tell me my my ish. And that's being you sit down with the, the history. What do I like? What do I dislike? What have I done? What does this make sense? to me? And then once you find out what that is, keep testing it. That's mm. the only way you're able to be you, to be present in that moment and keep testing what that is. Yeah. Damn, bro. It's actually crazy because now, like, it's, it's that whole thing of, like, um, we always see, like, the outside um, yeah. of, of an individual and, like, yeah, okay, sure. cool. This guy, this guy is cool, man, because you saw him on this, that, and the third. But yeah, then sure. now, as you're saying, bro, like, um, everyone is a collection of the experiences yeah. and whatnot, bro. Okay, cool, man. Do you want to ask something, uh, KMS? Um, yeah, I'm actually quite curious. So I, I find it interesting that you managed to live so many lives. I think when he heard when he heard you say twenty nine, you're twenty nine, you said you lived twenty lives. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. So you were a research analyst at some point also. Yeah, yeah. And you've you've literally done so much, bro. Yeah. I really I really love that. Shut up. Um at what point did you realize that you want to put all your effort into entertainment. Okay. Wow, that's a beautiful question. Thank you for doing the research, actually. Because I was ironic because you were research, research analyst. analyst. <laughs> yeah. You know, I thought he was gonna say that. I heard it before with the puns and stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. So when did I decide? Last year, this time. And you've gotten so far in just a year. August. Yeah. Manifestation. So I was telling my bro a little earlier. Oh, let me show you something. So. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of tattoos. I got like 15 tattoos, right? This is one of my favorite tattoos. It's a bow. Okay. Right? Um, it's a matching tattoo. That's original, the original reason or idea behind it. But when I looked at the idea of a bow, I was like, well, the longer you spend pulling back, the more force that you have, the better your aim, you know? So it doesn't matter how long your time is your journey. For me, it, it's taken me 32 years to get to this point. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you, it was uncomfortable because by the age of 10, I knew what I wanted to be. Mm. Mm. So through from 10 years old, speaking, rapping inside the crib, going, setting up battles, losing battles, rapping, going through the whole journey, I'm like, I just want to be a childhood star. Mm. Or, a, a, yeah, I want to be, a, I want to be like Michael Jackson. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to, that was what I saw in terms of like, I want to make it now. And everybody wants it now. You know, everybody mm. wants the abs now, summer's coming. Yeah. Mm. But something my bro and I were talking about, and shout out to my bro That's for being a bro, critical yeah. thinker. Yeah. He was like, on some, yo, actually, it's not about wanting what you want. It's not about even seeing yourself have it. It's about you falling in love with the pros and the cons of what you want. They say money, more money, more problems. You got to find out what those problems are and fall in love with those problems. Say, I don't mind having those problems. I want those problems. Mm -hmm. What are those problems? Let me go deep into it. I want, if you want abs, you want it now. You have to realize, yo, listen, it's not a, I'm not going to start gymming now and stop in the next three months. I need to change my life decisions, which means I need to, I need to go to bed early, which means I might lose certain friends, which means I'm not going to, I'm going to cut down on alcohol, change my diet. I need to wake up and cook at a specific time. I need a gym membership. I need a, a train. I need somebody to teach you. You dedicate your life into finding out what that is and you be about it. You know, it's all about being. So your question was uh, pertaining to when did I decide? Yes. For me, I decided 
when I was eight, nine, ten. Okay. Yeah. But I kept on forgetting. Mm. I, I mean, forget, 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 bro. forget. You remember I asked you earlier yeah. on what, what took you up and you said life. Yeah. 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 It tests you. That's that fire. When what what do you do when your your mother gets incarcerated for twenty years of your life? You know, yeah. and you are a mama's boy. Your mom's in jail now. Now what? You know, your pops becomes a a a, 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 a drunken. Now you're on your ace game. You got to fend for yourself. You know, mm-hmm. that's my story. That's not mm-hmm. nobody else's story. That's my story. Those are the tears that I spent in those nights saying, yo, I got to make it. But this and this is what's happening. This is my journey. Yeah. I'm going to make it. First of all, you're Natasha. Mm-hmm. Right? But then I get told all the time, yo, dog, you don't look so <laughs> bruh, 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 you look like you from you look Caribbean, bro. Bruh. Bruh, bruh, you, bruh, you, you're brown. Like, <laughs> 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 you know, like, you I'm like, okay, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, you get certain things like that, and then you're like, okay, cool. Now I twang, but it's not South African twang. It's it has a little bit of an, an American thing. We are a collection of our choices. I grew up looking up to Eminem and Tupac, so I'm not going to lie to myself and act like I grew up listening to Zola Seven and yeah. all. No, I didn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were a part of the culture and what I saw, but what I fell in love with was Tupac. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to talk like Tupac and walk like Tupac because that's what for me real is, and it might resonate with some and not all, and I'm okay with that. Yeah. So mm-hmm. when you look at when I decided it was a long time ago and the pains and the hurdle and the hurdles, the ups and downs of that it kept me true to the journey. I mean, I'm still that. Same ten year old kid yeah. at this moment, just with facial hair. That's about it. Damn, bro. So, so, so you're saying you're saying your mom's got incarcerated? Bro. Yeah, for twenty years she went to jail. Damn, bro. Yeah. So I mean, these are the yeah. these are the things that you could. Some people cry about electricity yeah. being cut out. You know, yeah. like oh, it's calm, no shedding. But remember, we all have different ways of looking at the same glass in the center of the room. Yeah. So it's up to you. Whatever your challenge is, whatever your challenge is, it's yours. You got to be willing to take the hits if you want that. You know, once you've taken the hits, you can't compare them to nobody else's hits. You can't be like, yeah, you know what? I take cold showers every morning. I'm just, no, it's your cold showers. Take your hits, yeah. take your benefits, keep moving, you know? Don't don't be out here trying to compare yourself to nobody else because their journey and yours will never be the same. We could be literally in the same building and have different views, bro. It's it's okay. It's part of that journey. So, yeah. Damn, bro. And then, and then so, so when did you actually, like, move from Kizit in to um, go Josie and, and yeah, man, like, what's the story? For That's you, a bro? funny story. Oh, thanks for asking that, yeah. bro. Okay. That's a funny story. So, you know the secret? Yeah, yeah. Um, um, it's the secret um, Law of Attraction book. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also one by Paolo Coelho. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. The Alchemist. Yeah. I love The Alchemist. Yeah. It was referred to me by Will Smith. I, I used to watch a lot of inter, um, inspirational, motivational videos. And uh, he said Paolo Coelho, so I researched it. I don't like reading, you know. I, I was like, well, I didn't like reading. I was like, okay, I don't, I don't like reading. Let me download the ebook yeah. and listen to it, bro. Before the end of that book, I was in tears, bro. I was like, I related to the main character. I'm never gonna forget him, Santiago. Mm. I was like, damn, like homeboy went through all of that just to come back. I'm, I'm spoiling the book. You, you read the book. Read the book. Yeah. The Alchemist. Check it out or The Secrets. It's up to you which one resonates. But after reading those two books, I had just gotten kicked out of my place. My wife at that time had moved back. She had she'd gone abroad overseas. And I was homeless, basically. So I moved into my boy's place. And I was like, yo, bro, I don't, I'm not going back home. I left home at 23. I'm not going back home, bro. Actually, 21, 23 when I got married. 21. I was like, okay, I'm not going home. So I'm going to stay at your place. He's like, bro, bro, what are we going to do? So we read the book together or listened to the book together. We used to wake up every morning, do push-ups, meditate, pray. We listen to the book, write down some raps, freestyle rap. You throw beats at me, throw topics at me, I'm rapping, I'm shopping. Yeah. I don't know where I'm going with this, but and we're sitting in a dead-ass broke, hungry. You know what I mean? So that was, we're living in, a, in that moment. We, we were working out that muscle. And then one day after reading the book, he says to me, bro, let's go to the Joe Road. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I Joe, bro. Like, have you seen the people's facial expressions in Joe? Where everyone is like, "Yo, we're about to hustle." Yeah. Everything is like a base. Like Joe, Berg, everybody comes in. And I always say, people are so nice when they go back to Emakai. Like you go yeah. back to wherever you come from, Richards Bay, um, the Val, wherever you're from, you're so nice. But when you come to Joe, Berg, there's this atmosphere yeah. right? that we're here for gold. We're gonna do whatever <laughs> you need to do to get yeah. it. You know, that's and that's cool too. But that's the thing that intimidated me. And I was like, I ain't, I ain't about to go there. But he, after a while, I was like, why not? Got my boy with me. So the first time I landed here was in Tembisa. Mm. 
because Aiden and Tembisa for a good two weeks, right? But now this is like minimal cash, bro. Yeah. I, we literally drove up, so I had my car. <laughs> Tank was low also, but we're like, we're going to get there. We're going to make it. We, we yeah. don't know how. We're going to make it when we're there. You know what I mean? So when we landed in Tembisa, was in some girl's shack, backyard, actually. Yeah. It's his his friend, his cousin. But she's got a child. Yeah. So it's like a one room. Now there's two men here. Yeah. You get what I mean? That's kind of awkward. You know yeah. what I mean? There's a child, there's a and it's one bed. Yeah. So she, he's like, yo, I'm gonna sleep inside. I'm like, okay, but then it feels weird. So we all sleeping on that same bed and the child is crying. So that was the the Damn. my journey, my, yeah. my hurdles, you know. And I had to be present for all that shit. But every morning we wake up and pray. The whole day we choose, okay, we fast them from 12 to 6, partially because we didn't have cash to eat. But we're like, <laughs> <laughs> but he called it fasting because yeah. no, it was was fasting also because sometimes someone would come and say, "Yo, here's wings, chicken mm. wings, eat these." We're like, "Thank you very much. We we'll keep them for later." We're fasting right because we decided, you know. Also, that's what, how the that's how the devil works, bro. Mm. Like, and the devil was funny. Damn, as soon as you decide something, that's when you're like, "Okay, I'm gonna be single now." That's when all the honeys. So, so tell us more about the whole team visa situation. Journey, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Sure. So, so we're living in the shack, bro. And like I said, we wake up any more, every morning. And this is crazy for me because uh, I told you I came from an okay family. Truthfully, if I tell you the background of my family, there's a side of my family that's super well off. Like, yeah. super, super well off, bro. Like, elevators in the house well off. You know what I mean? Like, basketball inside the crib, movie in the crib. Yeah. I'm not gloating or boasting. I'm just saying. Yeah, just showing you. It's a huge contrast yeah. to how I actually grew up and where I ended up in Tembiso. Mm-hmm. You're taking bats in a bucket now. Yeah. Like you, you literally wake up. You have to. Outside, bro. Yeah. Bucket outside. So you need to swallow that pill. That's a hit, bro. Like, okay, yeah. cool. How am I gonna do this? Like, yeah. so the big brother experience for me was nothing. Yeah, you know what I mean, because now you're showering with with the option of cold or hot water, yeah. and you you know you're somewhat private, but you're in a comfortable space. But leaving that big brother experience, just kind of like going back to the Timbisa feel. Everything is in the past. It will make sense once you connect the dotted lines, looking backwards. It all makes sense. Everything is preparation for this moment. This conversation, you know, everything is preparation for the next one too. You just gotta be able to look back. So when I'm in Tembisa taking those baths outside and all those type of vibes, um, in a car that's Koro Koro actually. It's like you know, shout out to my car, I miss you. If you're watching this. Bro, like <laughs> bro, like so some other line. I was t- I was telling I was telling um KMS uh, when you're driving. Um, it hits different, bro. Like, like this other MT was like, yeah, I'll t- I'll go in this school. Like now, yeah. like, bro, fuck you, MT, bro. <laughs> 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 I'm like, yes, bro. Like, yeah, yeah okay, that word. It's saying. crazy. You find yourself in anything if you're willing to look. You know, you just gotta be willing to look. So yeah, I was driving school to school, and I was proud of it, bro, because I was like, better, better have a car. Yeah. Also, even bigger than that, better have a dream. You know, better be willing to do those things. Better be able to wake up every morning and be like, I'm grateful. I have a body. I have legs. I can walk. I can stand. Someone can't do that. Someone mm-hmm. sitting in ICU with all that money right now. Mm-hmm. Just like dying, bro. Being told you next week, we're saying goodbye to you. All your hard work throughout your whole life. You're in hospital right now and you don't have movements of your body. So waking up in the morning, even if my pockets have holes in them, even if I ain't got a toothpaste and I got to buy Chepa's bubble gum just to make it fresh a bit, I don't live here. I'm present here, but I'm there. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I see myself with a, an overflow of shit. But anyway, so we'd wake up every morning and it was crazy because every day felt like a music video. Mm-hmm. We'd always bump into celebrities every single day. And I'm not talking bump in and see them like, oh my God, that's a celebrity. No, we'd step up to you. Yo, what's up, AK? You good? These are my bars, bro. I rap. This is, mm-hmm. I came here to rap. I'm a rapper. I came to Joe Book to take over. You know, and that's when Nasty was still coming up. So I was like, if Nasty can do it, yo, listen. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and Nasty a little nigga. Yeah. <laughs> no, and I, I knew Nasty. That's the yeah. thing. We're not boys like that, but I knew oh, him. Oh, shit, yeah. I met him before at Bat Center, and I, like, I was like, yo, this kid can rap. I pulled him to the side, and I was like, yo, bro, yeah. you're going to make it, dog. And, See and, you at the top. And and Bat Center is, um, in kids, in a way, like hip-hop. Yeah. It's like what, a central like the hub. place. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was yeah. the hub. And my, my, my friends called me Batman. Because you're in the bad center. <laughs> bad center. Yeah. You know, literally, it was like, if you watch 8 Mile before, it's like the the, the place where Eminem came and rapped at. Mm-hmm. Because they had all creative things. It doesn't matter where you were from, from Durban or from KZN, you would need to, at some point, get to the bad center. go past uh, bad center. Mm-hmm. And that's the sad thing about now. I don't think that space is utilized the same way right now because yeah, social media. 
Yeah, because because I because I heard that like the last time Bat Center was um, utilized like that was when Zank Zakwe and them were doing um rap effects. There's a thing called rap effect that they were doing. Oh, yeah. So like my last year, I don't know what what happened with the gig and all that, yeah. but then homies were busy with that place. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's also this thing that used to be called Crump versus House. It used to be like crazy shows, bro. I mean, I got to meet like a lot of my childhood heroes at a very young age i mean the first time i ever freestyled oh my god was with pro with pro kid damn bro pro kid, when he was still going by kid bro yeah yeah do you yeah. know do you know and this is the thing i feel like you really do manifest this thing do you know of um casper's do you know of casper's baby mama mm. okay so uh, uh, yeah oh yeah so casper's baby mom is my childhood friend right so her mom owned like this these companies where they bring certain people and they stay there at these uh, resorts and ish. And I so happened to have been there and being a pretty boy that I am, I come in there and I'm like, yeah, what's up? You know, licking yeah. my lips, hello, cool J ish. And then all yeah. that drops, bro. That facade just drops when I see pro kids just there. I'm like, oh shit, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go walk up to the home and be like, yo, listen, I respect your work. And this is another thing also a lot of people need to know how to come correct, bro. Like your your approach is more important than what you have to say most mm. of the time, you know. So I literally humbled myself. I dropped that whole "I'm cool" shit at the door as soon as I saw him. I'm like, bro, cause hey, bro, you chilling with the king, bro. Like, bro, that cool, that cool shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. I woke up yeah. and I'm like, yo, listen. I I told him who I am, where I come from. I had gotten his number before in the past, and I hit him with the hello. Yeah. <laughs> at six a.m., it's like, hey, what do you want? I'm sleeping. <laughs> What do you want? He hung up, you yeah. know what I mean? But I told him that story. We laughed at it. And um, <laughs> we chilled. I thought he was blunting and I, I didn't smoke at the time. Uh, look at me, I've come so far. And uh, we freestyle. And I remember recording that freestyle. Yo, that's the first time, bro. So when you asked me to freestyle on your show, I was like, yeah, yeah. Dog, dog, <laughs> dog, yeah. you know what I mean? And um, so going back to the story of now, rubbing uh, shoulders. Yeah. With- Rubbing yeah. shoulders with the people and meeting the people because most of the people in the industry I know mm. on a personal level, you know, maybe not even friends, but I know them mm. on a personal Like I have access to them, I have a number on my phone. Maybe we're not best of buddies. But I mean, things like when I went on the show and I met Saul Pendura, yeah. I was like, but we met before, you know, when I got evicted from the house, when I met up with uh, Mini Jamini, I was like, I grew up with you. Mm. You know, we're not in the same trajectory. We all have different paths. We just, that's it. You know about the five person rule. Everybody's connected. Yeah. You're five people away from meeting anyone in the whole world. If you want to meet Obama, there's somebody you know right now that knows somebody in the States. And that person in the States knows somebody who works in the White House. You're the connected. Five, wait, so, so, so it's called the five person rule. The five person rule. rule. Look it up, bro. I don't know what the actual official name is, but I know it's literally about the five five people in the world if you know the if you go through your whatsapp right now somebody can make you a million somebody can make you a million it's that, all about bro. the approach bro do you know what you want sit down with yourself why do i want what i want okay this is what i want how am i gonna go about it i used to do that that was one of the things i used to do when i got here i used to sit on my phone and just look at each person's name who is this again let me send him a hey hi because be like who's this i'm like yo man sorry i got your number on my phone i don't remember who you are and be honest, my approach was honesty. That you can't trump honesty, bro. If you're gonna hate on me for being honest and humble, that's your baby. I have I'm okay. I didn't come with ego. You know what I mean? So so that's what my journey was when I first got here. And one of the things we wrote down when we landed here in Tembisa was we're gonna live in Santa, we're gonna record music every weekend, and we're gonna be working in the fitness industry. Second week that actually happened. Verbatim, like to the T dog. Like on one day, we were looking on Gu- on Gumtree uh, for houses mm-hmm. and now we're not working, obviously. And we we're also applying for jobs. So in the morning, we went in, we called for an interview, landed the job, both of us, my boy and I, landed the job in four ways. Mind you, we're in Tembisa. Mm-hmm. Shit, okay, cool. Shit, how are you going to get there? Shit, I mean, we have a car, yeah. but the, the petrol yeah, and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That same day, we got a call to view a house, got the house. Mm-hmm. Shit. It can change all like this, bro. You just got to be prepared. And, and also like aligned. You got, well, exactly. If you, if, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, bro. Your opportunity, everybody in life, every single person in life will or has had that moment of greatness. 
just that second of this could change your entire life. But what makes us different is the preparation. Mm. Most people can't see it when it's your time. Mm. You won't even sometimes see it when it's your time. But are you prepared? If I give you the mic, you're like, yo, spit a 16. I'm ready, man. The rumble, the jungle, the hustle, the struggle, <laughs> the fucking man on my feet. I'm just yeah. stepping in public. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so yeah. it's all about that preparation, dog. Yeah. And I feel like if anything, you can out, you can, you can outwork me. You, you can be more talented, than me, but you'll never be more prepared than me. Mm. I know exactly what I'm prepared for. I know what's what I'm here for. I, when I say be you, it's because I know who I am. I sat down with myself in those dark spaces. Those moments of near death. When I spoke about suicide, a lot yeah. of people are suicidal, bro. I've tried to kill myself. Literally tried. I, this combo would not be happening should I have it, it succeeded. That's how dark it was, bro. Just imagine that 10-year-old kid with all these, these dreams and his vision. And then somewhere things just hit, hit a... You know what I mean? Now you got to come back from that. When mm. you come back, come back a different person. There's a little twinkle in your eye, bro. Your soul has done something that you can't even explain. So, yeah, my, my, my journey has uh, been ups and downs. When I landed in Timbisa, got that place in Santon, lived in Santon, met people like all pretty ugly and rapped with them and never really got to record. And that's another thing also. People buzz with Tata until mm. they see what you got. I mean, the other, you even made me prove myself to you. Yeah. You were like, yo, rap. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to rap for you. And that's cool. I'm never going to let that slide. Yeah. But, <laughs> but that's cool with me because, it, like I said, I'm always prepared, bro. Yeah. I'm going to have fun with it. I'm going to make sure that you remember. Because if I, I feel like if that interaction wasn't memorable, this interview wouldn't even be happening. Yeah, you know? yeah. So I was prepared. Yeah. I might have not been the best freestyler that you've had, but they're not sitting on my seat right now. Yeah. You know? That's you crazy, know, I'll, I'll bro. I'll prepare me, bro. I'm so prepared. You know, where the this came as? Yeah, I'm, I'm quite interested to know, and I'm sure maybe some of our viewers might be might be quite interested too, Uti, you you lived a, a certain way before you went to the Big Brother house. As much as you were popular, yes, back home in Lazi, mm. and leading up to when you got here, you know, rapping with certain people, meeting up with them. Yeah. But how has the dynamic in your life changed since you left the house? What has Big Brother done for you or done to you? I say this, I put this in inverted commas. Y'all can't see because I'm mm, posting it. Well. <laughs> what has it done to or for you? A lot of things. There's a lot of nuggets, a lot of jewels have been dropped in my life. Mm. But one thing that I see more than anything is people are now starting to see what I've always seen. Mm. You know, people are starting to see me and they're like, before I used to be the pretty boy in the room or whatever, they wanted to the, the swag, the one who walks around like he owns the room. And that's by default. It's not because I act. It's, it's how I've been since a baby. Mm. My first steps were of confidence. I'm here to own and conquer. Mm. And I don't know if it's, it's, I don't know if it's my soul or what, but that's just been me. You know, it's the energy you it's just where I resonate from. Yeah. You know, I'm at peace with that. It's like I've been here so many times, now I'm just here to do this one thing. You know. So I'm cool with that. Um what do you like 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 I, I feel like I feel like this is my last trip here on Earth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. You gotta be true to that because it's okay, whatever it is, it's okay. You, it, this is your canvas. Yeah. How you paint it is yours, bro. Everybody, you're the main actor in your movie. Everybody is just an extra though. Everybody's an extra. You know, make your movie worth watching again for you. Make it worth repeating for you. So you, your question was, um, please re paraphrase it again. So how has your life changed, changed. since you left? A lot house. of things. Besides people seeing me differently. Yeah. Um, now I've got people that I idolize who are now groupies. Mm. You get me? Yeah. So like you get, I'm not gonna drop no names, <laughs> but you get a DM from someone you've been watching since you were a kid. Mm. You know, you get a production house saying, "Yo, we like your work, but you we like your look." They mm. might, they may not think that you're a good actor per se, but it's something about you. Something's a twinkle in your eye. Maybe it was that moment where I nearly did something stupid. It was something has mm. brought me Everything. to their attention. You know what I mean? Because yeah. there were, there was more than me in the house. There was mm. like other people too. But the opportunities, and I was talking to my bro about this. I was like, the opportunities I've been getting, it feels like, yeah, it's about that time, you know, because mm -hmm. I've lived in it. Now I'm, now I'm living in it, and, but there's more to come, you know. So it's changed a lot. A lot of people now know, it be you, you know, type of thing. Yes. Or, oh, oh, you know, either way, I'm okay with both. And that's that's the vibe. And I'm I'm just good and bad. Because mm -hmm. right now, a, another a little bit of a scandal that just kind of happened. A lot of people have been trying to pin me down to a relationship, you know. Like, yo, bro, you look a specific way, gotta have a girlfriend, you know what I mean? Yeah. They don't understand, I'm still married. I'm married to the game. 
I'm married to the vision. I'm married to the dream. Yeah. I'm married to the hustle. For me, it won't make sense to throw down and say, I trust this human being who's had their journey to not hinder my journey and for me to not hinder their journey. Because we're delicate as human beings, you know? You have something to leave on this earth. I might fuck it up for you. I want you to do what you want to do. I want to do what I want to do too. So it's not about crossing each other's journey and me forcing you to go this way. It's about us simultaneously going towards the same direction. So if mm. yo, there's a vegan hunt out there that likes meditating <laughs> and likes music, entertainment, likes fitness, DM me. <laughs> yeah, 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 if it's zero, you won't know. If it's a million, you won't know. You know you're going to know that. Secondly, my relationship status. You won't know it until I want you to know it. Because I believe it's sacred. It's it's, it's private. That's the only way it's going to work. I've tried the whole public thing. Heck, I got married. It was very public. And I saw that. You know what I mean? And the last thing is um, my next move. I don't tell nobody my next move. Well, it's between me and God. And when I'm praying in my, in my corner and I say, this is what I'm doing next, are you okay with it? Can you give me the strength to see it through? Will it be, you know, can I can I face all these demons that I need to face? Because there's demons everywhere. Yeah. Remember, demons are angels. So when you're praying to your angels, yeah. they might switch up. Hey. <laughs> that's, the that's, the, that's the devil too. The devil is also, yeah. uh, you know, an angel. Well, well I actually, actually believe in the yin and yang, man. Um, yeah, we like, as good as you are, like, you know, like as much of a good person you are, yeah. there's an equal opposite to you, bro. So, you know, like, so like, Mara, Mara, to the extent that, 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 that yeah. yeah, that's why I'm such a fan of, um, I don't know if you still watch Dragon Ball Z, but I'm a fan of Goku Black, bro. Yeah, because yeah, now, yeah, yeah. when Goku Black, because when Goku becomes black, bro, well, when, he, when his spirit gets possessed, yeah. bro, ain't no stopping that guy, yeah. bro. And, 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 He's more evil than Vegeta. When yeah. He, I, I was like, shit, man, this, nigga, this nigga is about to destroy and he's laughing, bro. bro we're going to geek out, dog. Yeah. Don't ever get it started. <laughs> Don't ever get it started. We're going to geek out, dog. I'm a big fan yeah. of anime in general and cartoons. I'm huge. I'm, I think movies and anime is my ish. Like, from, from, because it's creatives. Like yeah. People sit down and you see, like the yin and yang. And that's one of the reasons why I don't watch scary movies. I don't watch scary yeah. movies because remember the producers and directors are very spiritual beings. They do their research. Sometimes when you're watching someone act to cast a spell, it's an actual spell. Mm. You know what I mean? And are you watching it? It will have an effect on you. Mm. I, I mean, mm. I, I don't open myself up to those type of things. But when it comes to animation and all that, I open myself up to a certain degree, I guess. Mm. In movies, I repeat the ones that I yeah, really fuck with. Can I say fuck you? Yeah. 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 State yeah. of the game, bro. I don't, I don't swear yeah. that much, but, yeah. you know, the little I do. I, if I really fuck with something, I'm going on in. That's me. Like, I there's no half ass in it, mm. you know. That's what's up. Okay, now, nah, man. So now, like, yeah, um, musically and all that, man. Um, you've been saying that you're rapping and all that, man. Um, where are you now, um, with your music? So to answer your previous question, yeah. So uh, when it comes to the whole relationship thing, like I yeah. said, mm -hmm. private. But, but the the last bit is when I want you guys to know you won't know, mm -hmm. and you won't know because I'm dating someone because I don't believe dating is what we're talking about. When I'm bringing cows and all that, people will know. You know, but right now, just I'm married to the king. It's all love. I mean, my name is love. I can yeah. full on give myself to something, but I want to make sure that it's worth giving myself into. It's not going to hinder what I'm here to do on this earth. So, actually, mm -hmm. make it better. Um, yeah. Okay. Look. Okay. Yeah. Before we even get to that, man, like you said, you've been married before, right? Yeah. And um, you've obviously been divorced. So, now, yeah. how do you know now that, like, you, like, how would you know if you found the one? You won't know. You won't know. Just, Bob Marley said, love is about choosing. Everyone's going to hurt you. Love is about choosing the one that's, that you're okay with hurting you for the rest of your life. That's all it is. Like, find one person that you're okay with them hurting you. And you pick that person. That's the person you'll be with. Everyone's going to hurt you. Life is a dance, bro. Once you get that close to someone, you're bound to step on their foot at some point. Mm. That's just what happens, you know. So, I don't think anyone truly knows. It's trial and error. You just got to have the balls and the guts to do it. And I got a big pair, bro. 
know. Yeah, bro. Like, do you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you love to ask when pause. I said that. Pause, bro. Pause, Um, and and yeah, you did that at twenty three, bro. Got married at twenty three years old. Yes, bro. Damn, bro. Commitment, bro. Yeah. I don't I have no issues with commitment. Yeah, I commit yeah. to something even if it makes sense to no. know. My whole family is like, why? Why her? And it was an interracial relationship, which even made it, the dynamics even crazy. Is it like 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 white girl vibes? Yeah. Or... You know, no, the dynamics are yeah. crazy. And I, yo, I always said to her, like, our kid would have been our child was getting yo, she had like these Hazel greenish eyes. Green, Hazel yeah, eyes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, Oh, that's so dope with my DNA, our DNA, our child would look great, and I love that. But she like Portuguese or something. No, she was French. Oh, snap, and, and that's yeah. the thing, though. I realized my cousin from Canada spoke to me on self-hate as a black man. Yeah. Like, is that is there a reason why you're going for a white girl? And is it why you want to marry her? Why don't you date her? You know, all those things. And it kind of made me sit down with myself. And that's the only, like, it goes back to one thing. You have to sit down and be honest with yourself. And you'll know that it's true when it hurts. The truth always hurts. If it's all nice, then it's, it might not be true. Mm-hmm. You need to look at it differently. Maybe get a second person's perspective. But once the truth hurts, after a while it won't, and you get to a point like, okay, cool, I made sense of this. That was a level of me mm. trying to deal with the fact that my mother was gone. There was a level of me self-hating and saying, in order to be a better black man, you need to find a white person. There was. <laughs> there was. Come on. No, yeah, no, I'm no, 23. What are you rushing? No, you know. No, also, a hundred percent because now, like, um, I also grew up. I grew up in a suburb, bro, and and like. In a country where it's majority black, Jeez, and then and then no 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 not even bro like yes, bro, I know I know teacher, I know you um, <laughs> but like but like um and then and then and then um you in a school that's predominantly white dog yeah. and and you like the nigger so yeah, to speak right yeah, yeah, yeah. and and it fucks with you like like you don't realize that it fucks with you until yeah, yeah. until you become like woke and then you're like, oh shit especially in, in Africa. Yeah, that's 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 the because if you think about it, white people are less than ten percent of yeah. the population. So you are surrounded by, it. so in your reality, it feels like this is, but it isn't because as soon as you step out that bubble, yeah, all you see is black. Yeah, and and now and, and now the the black kids looking at me because now like, like I grew up in in Benoni, this place called Benoni and all that name, yeah. and um where 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 what Ducky are from? There's either D Town, Debuton, or Crystal Park and all that. Yeah. So I grew up in Rhinefield, yeah. right? And um, shop. Um, the interactions was cool and all, and all that, man. But now, when you're with your people, they're looking at you like, "Hey, nigga, what the fuck?" Yeah. And then, and then when you're with the, the folks, they embrace you more, even though there's a bit more like low key racism. Yeah. There there, like like that the, the low key that's so high. Yeah. And all that, man. And then you actually end up like, "Yeah, no, nah, I'm gonna go for that Nicole yeah, over there see. because." And then. Yeah, like I understand yeah, what you're saying, bro. 100. percent I was just, yeah showing you how so everything. There's a pro and a con. Just like you're saying, bro, and I, I completely resonate. And I'm thankful that you shared that with me because a lot of black families remember our parents were hit by the system of apartheid. Yeah. By the way, South Africa is the only place that perfected racism. Yes, sir. We literally perfected it. We created a system. There's nowhere else in the world that had perfected it the way we did. Everything is a copy paste of what yeah. started in South Africa. Yeah. You know. Uh, we were the lab, basically, the, the science lab where they created it. Besides that, our parents were damaged by that. Mm-hmm. But I was dreaming in English before I was nine. Dreaming in English. I can't even spell at that yeah. time properly. You know what I mean? I'm actually like, like kind of, you know what I mean? So we learn as a black kid, you first learn to learn by hearing. Yeah. Then you okay, you mimic these sounds and you're saying these words and you know kind of know the meaning, but you haven't really sat down with these words. So for, for the most part, as I was a rapper, I was writing words, spelling words wrong. When I look at the books I was writing, I'm like, yo, what is this word here? Yeah, I mean, but that's what I'm trying to say. The damage starts from parents down. We are nobody is not affected by the effects of our politics yeah. in South Africa. Yeah. You know what I mean? Including white people. Because yeah. we can't just say, oh, they were predominant. No, everybody was affected negatively mm-hmm. and positively. Mm-hmm. And positively, bro. That's, isn't yeah. that a mind fuck up? Yeah. How are black people yeah. affected and positively by this? You check, and then, and then, and then I, 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 it's interesting to see like the, um, how, how they choose to be oblivious to it. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, like, like you try to explain, okay, so in my grand's house, 
in the hood in the schools because my mom's a teacher yeah. right she teaches in the hood yeah. and then you try to explain this to like your your classmates and like your bro there's like 50 kids in the class and yeah. right? yeah. many kids in the and then they're like yeah so like yeah so we're very privileged yeah. <laughs> i'm like yeah yeah, yeah you're privileged but, but understand the level yeah. bro understand the level my grandma my house bro is a three or well, two room it was a two room then yeah. and it bred um eight children which bred how many and we and holidays we, we, we was all there. Bro. So when you're telling me about like how you went to Drakensburg this weekend, bro, I mean I'm in my grand's house, bro. Exactly. And fuck, bro, there's ten of us, dog. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm exactly. saying? So um yeah, man, like it's really important to share certain things because yeah. now fuck the accents, bro. Like, yeah. dude, like it's real out here. And like yeah. being exposed to like um two sides of the world also like helps you like in the long run. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like we all have that duality. Just going back to your DBZ yeah. Couple, yeah. yeah. We have dark and we have light. Pun intended in this case. <laughs> the light side is the white yeah. people. You know, the dark side being the truth, the roots, the essence. Including white people because most of the white people in South Africa hate get colored. Yeah. We just don't know it. I mean, look at this, right? So you and I can meet. I'm Sutu. You are Venda. We both meet and speak English, right? Why? Because we are com- accom- accommodating each other. Mm. But if I were to come to you speaking Venda, you'd be offended. Mm. And you'd be like, oh, why don't you learn to speak my language? Yeah. But we don't do that to white people here in South Africa. I mean, they grew up here. Yeah. They were born here. Yeah. Why are we so okay with people... Not learning. Ish. How are you gonna say tabu? Ish, bro. Can't you say bo? You can say bo. Dog. Tabo. Like, Dog. why are we accommodating all of that? <laughs> yeah. I think when the black man decides to put his foot down, it's gonna shake the world. Mm. That's what I believe. Mm. It's gonna shake the fucking world when a black man in Africa, mm. I'm not not in America, not in the UK, in Africa, decides to put the foot down. The whole world shake. Exactly because it's almost like. It's almost like um okay shop um black folk stay in the hood and then the smarter ones they want they want they, okay so this guy's fucking smart bro we need mm-hmm. to actually get this nigga here yeah and we can control him mm-hmm. and and then once this guy grows up right he ends up like looking down on his people which goes back to the self-hate that you was talking about mm-hmm. you know he go he, he he grows up and then he looks at his own people he's like bro why the fuck are you doing this why the fuck are you doing this why the fuck are you doing this? so now if so that i feel like there's power in that nigga that 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 smart nigga needs to wake up i, I i'm gonna i'm gonna play devil's advocate and contradict a little contradict bit my nigga. i feel like it's both sides because yeah. the niggas in the hood are also looking at you. Ah, yeah, you're weak. Yeah, you know when you roll up to the hood with your expensive car because you're doing better. Like ah, yeah, ele one day take him more di. Yeah, shy. Yeah, yeah. That's that's common yeah. in the hood. Yeah. I'll fuck him up. Why? Because yeah. you need to a sense of you want to feel better than him. Yeah, and he's looking at down on you. Why are you even doing that? Too? Yeah. So it's two ways. We're yeah. focusing as a people. We're focusing more on the things that make us different from each other than we are on the things that make us alike. Mm. You know, you got to find yourself in each situ- situation, no matter who the person is. And when I said what I said about white people and the ro- world and whatnot, it wasn't to say them against us. It was mm. to say, that's the negative. That's the negative. Let's find the positive. Mm. You know, let's let's resonate from a place that says I'm truly being aligned to what I am. I mean, fuck, human beings are the only creatures on Earth that don't subscribe to being animals. Mm. But we are. We're the only animals that don't believe that we're animals, bro. Mm. At the crux of it. We are just uh, and, 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 I, and I feel like and I feel like we're more animal than the animals, bro. Like why would you say that? Just just by the way we treat each other based ah, on the differences. Yeah. Um like like that whole thing of like civilized savage. Now I feel like we oh, are shit. civilized savages. Man, I like that. You know, we didn't civilize the savages, no. We are civilized savages. Mm. Because now niggas will fuck you over without even blinking, dog. Mm. Niggas will let's say there's an opportunity for B U, bro, for margin food. Mm. And um <laughs> and, and, and 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 your bro hears it, he's like, nah, fuck, bro. Like, but I want that shit. Let me not, let me not. That's crab mentality. That, that, oh yeah, which yeah. is animal. Yeah. That's that's exactly it, bro. We are at the crux of who we are. We're animalistic at the core. The essence of who we are but we 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 cover up with so much it's like we're ashamed you know like i'm not an animal I, first time i heard that was when i was in primary <laughs> school like you guys are behaving like animals <laughs> you know yeah we are 
you know, as, as kids, we run around, we yeah. all, all, all uh, that's all we need. We just, and that's in our nature. It's in our nature. That's who we are, you know? Yeah. It doesn't take a lot for, for a human being to be, a, to be at the pinnacle of who they truly are. Mm. All you need is the basics. You need a place to stay. You need food. You need sex. Those three things. Reproduction. Yeah. You need work, toil. Mm. But now we're so caught up in this illusion. And I believe it's a spell. Mm. We're, we're under the influence of the spell mm. so deeply that it's fucking us up. Mm. And everything close to us. And that's cool too. That's cool too because the cycle will, will come to an end. Yeah. Party time is coming, huh? And, and and when do you think when do you think this is gonna to come to an end? Because now I felt like it was when a black man decides to put his foot down. But now, don't you think it's it's been because now um, we're in the age of Aquarius, the age of information, the yeah. age of enlightenment, and all that. Yeah. So, like, do you think it's gonna happen in this age? Uh, I believe I'm gonna be around. Mm. To see, it. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I don't know. I don't know, but I know I'm gonna witness it. That's mm. what I believe. I had a dream about that. And I was like, Bro. Shit, bro. Okay, crazy. Yeah, man. So let's talk about your music, man. As we, yeah, like, yeah. so, so, what are we working on right now? Um, yeah, man. Like, yeah, because because now everyone knows you as a as a, as like a, a chakra nigga. Uh, a and man. it's weird because Umaraza was talking to me about this other yeah, day. Shout out, Umaraza, man. Yeah, he was supposed to come today. Yeah. Actually. Anyway, so Umaraza was talking to me about um, oh, what's the last thing you just said now? Uh, being chakra center. Yeah, yeah. He's talking about yo, be you. You realize that you just like known for being you like <laughs> you're not known for a, a hit or you just it's you bro like people know you for sleeping waking up and that's the best <laughs> so that's because now you can do anything i'm like yeah. oh that's beautiful bro yeah. but right now when it comes to what i'm doing i won't really tell you much about my next move but i'll tell yeah. you about what i'm currently doing i've i've had the song with me for all the album with me ep with me for a while it's called kill tj um it's basically speaking yeah. about defeating the ego yeah, and yeah. TJ was a kid. Yeah, the, the, the tattoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, you remember. Yeah. So it's it's about it's about up becoming, you know, fully truly becoming the man that I've always believed that I am, and now I am. You know, uh, that's what that is about. It's five tracks. It's just like testing the waters. I've been working on it for a while, but it's done. And now it's about you know signing the right deals and getting the right percentages. And right now the split is okay. I'm I'm not really signed to the to the label, but it's a distribution there. It's a promoter there, it's a manager, PR there, getting all those things aligned. And once my alignment is proper, I'm gonna drop it. I wanna say September, but my gut tells me November. We'll see. Mm. Um, but just being a lookout for that. But I'm doing a whole lot more um behind the scenes work, acting work. Mm. As we speak, I'm shooting something. I can't really share much yeah, about yeah. it, but it's gonna be big. It's international. Uh the thing before then, I'm currently on that. Yeah, yeah. So you can check that out every Friday on channel one six one. You know what to do. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're stripped, yeah. So, um, yeah, man. Yeah. Besides that, also presenting ish because some some people like my voice, some people like the way I look, so they want to use me, and I'm cool with that. As long as I get money towards the end goal, because it's not about money to buy bread. It's about money to make sure that peeps and nice my legacy. Yeah. Every offspring that I have, an offspring doesn't have to be for my loin. It's anybody I resonate with out there. We are an offspring of each other. You know, mm. I'm an offspring of people like. Uh, Biko and mm. and Honey and I mean not Madiba though. Not yeah, Madiba. Oh. bruh, bruh. Like uh, we were talking about that actually uh, like Madiba. earlier. We mm. were, were like, nah, dog. Like and, 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 and like and like it's deeper than it's deeper than like what people see, man. Like um, the the Mandela thing is more on like P, it's more PR than this. Yeah. Anything, anything. Look, if history paints you, if if the history is told by your enemies, people who've decided to be your enemies, and they paint you out to be a good guy. Something is hitting the water. Ish. If you're a good guy, according to white man's history, <laughs> if the hunter's telling the story, the, the lion is always, you know. Ish. Dog. And, 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 and like, shut up. Um, we know, like, I feel, I feel like we've known that for, like, I've known that since I was in high school. Like, when, yeah. I, when, when, when thinking about it and everything. And like, see, you see, I want to cut you before you finish that. Someone told me recently that there's a difference between knowing and understanding. See, the, wis the wisdom of being able to practice and live within that is the understanding. Mm. But the knowing part is I can tell you one plus one equals two, but you don't know what to do with that. Until mm. you're in a situation where I say, here's one ran, here's one ran, you, you know, and you say, oh, two ran, let's make two. You know, so it's about the understanding and we keep forgetting 
in life, in our life journey. So you might know this is good, this is bad. But what you going to do with it? Yeah, it's not it, about it's what like, you know. It's about what you can prove in the court of law. <laughs> what you going to do? Yeah, you know? and, and it's, also like, it's also just like that whole thing of like being... I'm also very um, wary of like um, people that popularize um, being woke and all that. Because now, Shab, you can know about like aliens and shit, dog. You can know about all this shit, bro. But now... What what are you gonna do with it? Yeah, you know. Okay, shop. You okay. know, credo Yeah, bro. Ah, dude, I came up on. Come on, bro. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on. Credo, bro. May so rest in peace. Actually. Research credo muto. Yeah, may you not regret it. In endeavor, my children. Hey. Um, that's a really powerful book, man. I got documentaries on it, bro. Like eight hour documentaries straight, just sitting down and watching the homeboy. And 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 and, and, he, and he drops. Like, yo, man. The so so the you and I are his offspring. You know what I mean? That's exactly yeah. what I'm talking about. <laughs> Getting that information because we're here to share information. Yeah. There's a movie called Lucy. Yeah. And they I told mean, I see that too. Yeah. Right at the end of the movie, he says, She says, I don't know what to do with all this stuff. And then uh, the guy who plays God all the time, Morgan Freeman. Freeman, yeah. Morgan Freeman is like, <laughs> Share it. Every cell in your body exists for one thing to pass on the information. And I took something in life with that. I was like, Everything <laughs> I do, I'm going to pass on. Bro. And it's not just about my family and I am Tembu. No, it's not about, it's about anyone who's willing to find themselves in any situation. If you're willing to be you, whatever you is, if you're a snake and a liar and a cheat, be that proud. Because it's in your nature, it's who you are. There's a story of this guy who was in a village and he was trying to help a a scorpion. Scorpion stung him. He went away, cleared up the wound, he didn't die, came back, the scorpion was still in trouble. He's like, I want to help it. So he helped the scorpion, but now he got a stick and he helped it with the stick. Someone came up to him and was like, yo, bro, that thing stung you. Why did you not leave it to die? It's like, it was doing what's in its nature. I can't be mad at it. Yeah. But I can't now yeah. betray my nature yeah. and not help yeah. it. It's my nature to want to help it. Yeah. So I'm going to be myself. That's who I'm talking to right now. I'm not <laughs> yes. talking to nobody pretending, bro. If you're willing to do the time to sit down with yourself, yeah. then we're offspring of each other. And I'm not calling you my child or anything, but we, we're literally Connected. offspring of each other. Yeah, yeah. Same, same cloth. Yeah, Birds yeah. Of the That's the vibe. Snap, man. Okay, so now as we wrap up, bro, like, what would be you want to be like remembered for? You know be what you. I mean? Um, like, like, like be you. Be you. That's what I mean. That's something. Okay, damn, bro. <laughs> I, 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 I wanted a deeper answer. Okay, so let me let me do it like this. Okay. Everything has been deep. Let me leave this on the shallow end. <laughs> okay, Just one more, one more for the road, now. Yeah. So like, we are in the we are like I learned this from DJ Spoon, man. Actually, oh, yeah. dog, like, I shout always out, say this. Um, uh, we in the business of uh, manifesting and all that stuff. You oh, know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. You check. So um, I need you to send yourself a message um, to the future you that's achieved everything that you've wanted to do and all that, man. Like, we're in the present right now. And yeah, send yourself a message, bro. Well done, buddy. Well done. You've done a lot. You've sacrificed a lot. Only you know what you had to go through and what you don't know. Well, what I don't know yet, but you know that you've had to go through. Are we still on? Yeah, we're still on. Yeah. Um, well done, bro. Like, keep it up and trust me. Everything that you're doing is from a good place. So the fruits will always be good. Keep keep uh, planting your seeds and keep watering them. Keep going. Don't stop. There's no end until the last breath. Good job. I'm proud of you. Remember the name, man. Be you, man. Remember the name, yo. Be you, yo. Remember the name, yo. Be you. Remember the name, be you. Remember the name. Hey, yo, there's four people in the studio, man. But what's this man's name? Be you!